Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series of satellite communication. Today's topic is introduction to satellite subsystems. In this video, I am going to discuss about the various satellite subsystems. Let us begin. When we are talking about the satellite communication, then we have already discussed that the geostationary communication satellites launching, it's a quite complex process it is very expensive also so when we are talking that the satellite is into a designated orbit it means it must remain there and performs all necessary operations so during that particular uh, like requirement various things we need to monitor like whether the satellite is in the correct orbit what is the height of the satellite and monitoring and controlling of the other subsystems so here we are going to talk about the several subsystems which are the most important part right so a satellite communication consists of mainly two segments if you have to understand the overall elements of a satellite communication then you can visualize then you can understand it into two segments one is the space segment second is the earth segment see space segment means the satellite is in the space so what could be the like components or the subsystems the communication satellite itself satellite payloads launch vehicles and when we are talking about the earth segment which is also known as a ground segment it means transmitting equipment receiving equipment and antenna system and this earth stations earth segment subsystems and space segment subsystems they communicate via using communication links so these two like segments can communicate via using the communication links as i have told you about the earth segment it is present on ground itself and it has the ability to access the satellite repeater to provide the communication between the users it is also known as a ground segment space segment it presents in the space and the various subsystems are aoc which is the attitude and orbit control subsystem second is the tt and c which is the telemetry tracking and command subsystem third is the power and antenna subsystem and fourth is the transponders so in this particular like introduction to satellite subsystems we will be talking how many segments are there and what are their components itself right you can see a diagram this particular diagram shows the satellite subsystems the various satellite subsystems as i have already told you that the satellite subsystems can be broadly divided into four categories you can see four columns have been shown over here first is the power supply subsystem second is the attitude and orbit control third is the telemetry tracking and command and fourth is the communication subsystems so here we are going to discuss about these four satellite subsystems in detail so let us start one by one first is the power supply subsystem when we are talking about the power supply subsystem you can see how many elements are here solar array battery power supply control circuitry see when we are talking about the satellite like for the communication satellite electrical power supply is required because it is used to run the spacecraft so when the satellite is in the stationary orbit the power supply is required and as you can see there are these many components and you are aware with the solar cells what is solar cell you know that solar cells are the photovoltaic cells solar cells are photo voltaic cells and it converts the solar radiation into the electricity right and then it is going to be converted into the required voltage level in a power supply and the conversion efficiency of a typical solar cell it is about 12% to 15% and typical satellite solar cells generate approximately 1 to 
टू किलो वॉट ऑफ पावर राइट एंड द डिफरेंट पॉसिबल स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ द फैब्रिकेशन ऑफ सोलर सेल्स आर देयर लाइक पी एन होमोजंक्शन पी एन हेट्रोजंक्शन एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ माइन्यूट माइन्यूट सोलर सेल्स आर प्लेस्ड ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द सैटेलाइट लाइक इफ द सर्फेस एरिया इज नॉट एडिक्वेट ओवर देयर सो दैट दीज मेनी सोलर सेल्स कैन बी इंस्टॉल्ड देन अ सेपरेट प्रोजेक्शंस कैन बी यूज ओवर देयर एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ सेपरेट प्रोजेक्शन इज नोन एज अ सोलर पैनल विच कन्वर्ट डायरेक्टली सन एनर्जी इन टू द इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी सो आई होप नाउ दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट इज क्लियर वॉट इज द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ सोलर एरे सेकेंड इज द बैटरी सी वेन देयर इज not availability of the sun during the unfavorable weather condition during snowfall during uh, like night out then there is a requirement of the battery when the like solar power is not available so during unfavorable weather conditions when the solar power is not available then the battery backup is used power supply control circuitry to control and monitor the various units over there so this is about the power supply subsystem second category is attitude and orbit control see this is very important subsystem of a satellite attitude and orbit control means it is concerned about to control the orbit of the satellites besides maintaining stabilization and its position see you you know and i have already discussed that there are various forces which are acting on the satellite see satellite is at a height of approximately 42000 km and there are number of forces which are working on the satellites and which may change the attitude and orbit of a satellite like there are certain forces we have already discussed in the orbital perturbations like asymmetry of earth's gravitational field see you know that earth is not a true sphere there are certain bulging flattening so there are certain forces which may impact the satellite gravitational forces due to sun moon and other planets pressure due to solar radiations magnetic field of the earth so there are various orbital perturbations which may impact the satellite orbit so there is a requirement of attitude and orbit control unit so it's like parts are propulsion system sensors attitude control antenna control and orbit control see in case of the attitude control two types of sensors are used one is the earth sensor and second is the sun sensor and a pair of earth and sun sensors are used we'll discuss in detail in the next video lecture when we are talking only about the attitude and orbit control like then there is a propulsion system propulsion system it is a reaction control system propulsion system is a reaction control system which is carried by the satellite in the geostationary orbit and usually there are three kinds of units for the propulsion system the units are low thrust actuators high thrust motors and with space shuttle then attitude control see there is a requirement to identify whether the satellite is stable or unstable or whether the correct attitude is being maintained so there are mainly four operations are required the operations first detection of the satellite attitude first you have to identify at which particular height the satellite is and there are variety of sensors which are placed at, on the body of the satellite sub so those sensors used to send to the data sends the data to the ground station so first step is what detection of satellite attitude then comparison with the reference axis obviously whatever the data you are getting you need to compare with the reference one in case there is any like difference then there is a requirement to identify or evaluate the corrective torque and once the torque is being calculated then there is a requirement of the correction and you must remember that there are two types of control one is the active attitude control active attitude control 
and the second is the passive attitude control these are very important see in case of the passive attitude control what is the requirement the attitude corresponds to a position of a satellite right while for active the satellite is unstable or sufficiently stable within the desired attitude configurations next is the next subsystem is telemetry tracking and command here you can see in this particular like subsystem which is the part number 3 we have already discussed number 2 and number 1 so in case of this three number you can see there are three terms telemetry tracking and command so the function of the telemetry is to receive the data see as i have already told you that there are number of sensors which are placed on the body of the satellite so telemetry system collects the data from many sensors and sends this particular data to the controlling earth station the data may be in the form of the pressure in fuel tank what is the temperature of the subsystems voltage current in the power conditioning unit so many examples are there right so this is the function of the telemetry second is the tracking tracking means tracking it determines the slant range for accurate determination of satellite orbit as if you are saying you are tracking someone it means you are continuously monitoring and identifying what what is it is doing so the tracking system this system is located on earth station and it provides the information about range elevation azimuth angle so that if there is any change in the orbital elements that then correction can be made accordingly so this is the function of the tracking third is the command here a term command is being written command means if there is a requirement to convey certain commands and there is a requirement to uh, like convey certain, certain information according to which some action needs to be taken out then this particular system works right so this is the function of the command subsystem telemetry tracking and command now let us discuss about the fourth subsystem which is the communication subsystem see communication subsystem it is one of the major component of the communication satellite because this subsystem it consists of more than one or antennas antennas may be transmitting antennas receiving antennas which are going to transmit over a wide bandwidth and set of transmitter and receiver you can see in this particular diagram as well so this transmitters and receivers are used to amplify retransmit the incoming signals and this particular set in general combination of this is known as a transponder in the case of the satellite communication two types of transponders are used these are bent pipe or regenerative type so here you can see there is a frequency converter also as we have discussed there is a uplink frequency and downlink frequency at uplink frequency transmission is being signal is being transmitted towards the satellite while for downlink signal is transmitted from the satellite towards the earth station and the uplink frequency and downlink frequency is kept different so the frequency conversion is required at which particular point uplink frequency is being converted into the downlink and then the corresponding signal or the information is being retransmitted back to the earth station there are various satellite antennas which are commonly used reflector antenna horn antenna wire antenna cassegrain antenna so they can be considered as a separate unit but they have a very important function in the case of the communication satellite because you can say that the antenna is a integral part of the satellite subsystem so i hope now these four subsystems which i have given you the introduction now it is clear to you in the coming video lecture i'll be talking about the attitude and orbit control telemetry tracking and command subsystem and transponders in detail thank you so much for watching this video